Hello everyone, so I think it's time someone talks about Gen Design and their next game, uh, or lack thereof. <laughs> if you don't know who Gen Design is, they're the creators of Shadow of the Colossus, Eco, and The Last Guardian. They're previously known as Team Eco. The story of Gen Design's creation is a bit deeper than that, but that's not what we're here for today, so I'm not gonna get into that. So I love this company's game. Shadow of the Colossus is top 10 games of all time for me. Truly a masterpiece, and Eco and The Last Guardian are good too, but I will say The Last Guardian got extremely frustrating at times, but I still liked it so yeah needless to say i've been looking forward to their next game since the last guardian came out which was all the way back in 2016 gen design tends to take an insane amount of time in between their projects and i don't want to rush them but we've heard that we'd be seeing an announcement all the way back at the start of 2023 and here we are in 2024 and we have heard nothing so an announcement for this game is long overdue they've been teasing it since like 2018 i believe not that i was expecting it in 2018 i wasn't but I just want to put into perspective how long it's been since we've seen anything about this game. Well, what do we know about the game? Well, essentially, nothing. But we do have a clue or two that may or may not allude to the overall concept of the game. So all the way back in 2018, Gen Design posted some art on the official Gen Design website that seemed to tease their next game. And people picked apart this image as much as they could, but you know how Fumito Ueda's games are, I hope I'm saying his name right. They are very, very minimalist in nature, so it was very difficult to piece together anything from this image. But what people did get from this image was that in the source data for the image, it was labeled Beauty and the Beast 2018. And so Nomad Colossus, a YouTuber slash modder of Shadow of the Colossus, if you like Shadow of the Colossus, then you most likely know who this is. He kind of enlightened everyone that Beauty and the Beast was the name of the original ending of Shadow of the Colossus, so not the ending that's in the game today, the original planned ending for the game. And no, this isn't some like inside classified information that Nomad had known about. This was public info for a long time, I believe, but he pretty much was the one to bring this to everyone's attention. That's all I'm getting at. So what this Beauty and the Beast ending was supposed to be was that Wander would grow bigger each time he killed a colossus and by the end of the game when he awakens the girl he would be this like monstrosity and that was the price wander had to pay for doing something that was permanent and couldn't be undone and what nomad and others are speculating is that they're repurposing this concept for their next game or that at least they were when they released this image back in 2018 it could be scrapped by now for all we know it could not be though i mean who knows and looking at this image it definitely looks like the concept here i mean there's this like big figure on the side and the girl waking up and everything and honestly i think that's a really cool concept actually but even if they don't use it i'm sure the game's concept will be just as unique and interesting as their other games that's one thing i can always commend ueda's games for is that they're always unique and different from anything else on the market so yeah this is literally all speculation nothing is concrete right now i'm hoping we get an announcement this year i don't know what the chances of that are i'd say like a 40 60 chance maybe less just going off of how fucking long the last guardian took to release like that game took nearly 10 years to release i believe which is insanity but please don't make us wait that long gen design I'm not getting any younger. I need this game now. But I think it's possible that we will get an announcement this year considering we were supposed to hear something last year. All we've really been hearing from them, Gen Design, is that they're hiring and that they're dealing with the hardships of birth, apparently. But yeah, that's it for me. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.